What's up, Pet Collective? My name is Gabriel Iglesias. That's Gabriel Iglesias, if you don't understand Spanish. This is Vinny, that's Lisa, and this is Show Us Your Pets. My name is Gabriel Iglesias, also known as Fluffy to my comedy fans. And uh, these are my babies. This is Risa and this is Vinny. Vinny and Risa are actually uh, rescues from my previous relationship. I got them in the custody battle. I won. Anyway, <laughs> he's not better. He's not better. Chihuahuas, I always get the question. Uh, so stereotypical. Really a Mexican with chihuahuas? My sister had given me a chihuahua when I was about 12 years old. His name was Dino. And Dino looked a lot like Vinny here. And uh, Dino, Dino was with me a long time, almost 20 years. And it was just one of those things where I was, I was used to the size, used to the attitude, used to the, the personality. One turned into two, two turned into three. And uh, now we're here. All my dogs have always had mafia style names. Dino, you know, this is Vinny, this is Risa. And it was funny because my son's name is Frankie. You know, I was a fan of Goodfellas. Hey, forget about it. Hey, hey, talk to him. Dino, tell us something. Vinny, get over here. Frankie, call my! Vinny here, Vinny's very chill. He's very calm, uh, just likes to hang out. Arisa, on the other hand, she is just, uh, a, 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 like this is four pounds of pure hatred right here. She just hates everything. But the fact that she loves me and lets me do whatever I want to do to her, it's like, you know, come on. It's the princess, so she gets what she wants. The best part about having a pet, you know, you got, you got, you got company and you got unconditional love. No, no. Nothing on this planet loves me more than these two little critters right here. I said that yesterday at a show and some lady said, well, what about your son? Nothing loves me more. The beauty of what I get to do uh, means that I have certain liberties, if that's the right way to say it. Um, I take my dogs everywhere. I work very hard to have them and they go with me everywhere. So when I'm on tour, they're on tour. These dogs travel on buses, planes, trains, they're in hotels, you, you name it, they go everywhere. I talk about my uh, my dogs in my show. People go, really, more? It's not bad enough, we gotta look at all the pictures on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and stuff about your pets. Now you gotta talk about them in your show? Absolutely, because they're my buddies. We hang out all the time, so why wouldn't I talk about them? I was doing a show at a fair in uh, Idaho and uh, my, my staff on the road, their only job was to make sure that the dogs stayed in the green room. And uh, I go up on stage and maybe 10 minutes into my performance, I see uh, a dog running across the front row of a show that has probably 5,000 people in attendance. I'm like, wow, I see a little dog in the front row. That dog looks a lot like my dog. And I'm like, that's my dog, it was Vinny. Vinny had snuck out of the green room and found me, but he couldn't get up on the stage because it was too high. I'm, I'm freaking the hell out because I'm like, that's my dog. There's 5,000 people, anything can happen. And fortunately, the good people at the show, there in the front row, grabbed him and they put him on stage for me to grab. Uh, so yeah, it was, a, it was a rough day. A lot of yelling, a lot of yelling. But this guy right here, he's Houdini. When I'm on tour, uh, getting off stage, it's it's an adrenaline rush. There's thousands of people laughing and cheering, and it's just like I get off and I'm just like, wow, it's it's incredible. And now I'm back in my dressing room, and it's just it's it's this right here. And they could care less about the fact that I just had all these thousands of people laughing and cheering. They're like, we don't care about that. We just miss you, Dan. And so as soon as I come in, they jump on me like this, and it's like. You know, I, I guess this is more real, uh, if you will. Uh, I, I live in, a, in two worlds, a fantasy world, and then I have this guy right here who falls asleep on me and drools more than I do. So yeah, they, they do distress me and they keep me calm. And they remind me that, you know, there's, there's more important things in life. So I got this scooter here uh, originally for myself. 
so that I could, you know, go to amusement parks and hang all day. And eventually the scooter became their favorite thing in the world to do here at the compound. I, at this point, I think I'm their chauffeur. So every single car that I have has two dog beds in it. That is, yes, um, I must prepare anytime I get behind the wheel because uh, that, yeah, they're, they're royalty. They're, uh, they're Long Beach royalty. And the sad part is half the time they're not even in the dog beds, they're on me. Here's the question you really want to know. So where do my doggies do their business? Well, these are both very uh, bougie little dogs. They like really expensive AstroTurf or grass. They don't like going outside. So if they don't like going outside, what kind of daddy am I? I bring grass inside. So every week they get a fresh patch of grass. That's your cue to show the grass. These pillows are, were actually given to me by uh, different people uh, over the years. Uh, someone showed up to one of my performances and brought a Risa pillow, which I've, I've been given a lot of random gifts over the years, but anytime somebody brings me something and it has my dogs on it, I always keep it because it's, you know, it's really cool. I like it. And so yeah, Risa pillow. Uh, how many dog beds do I have? Well, you figure for two dogs, chihuahuas, you probably just need one, right? But nope. Uh, there's probably more dog beds in this building than anything else. All the money I spend on dog beds, and where does he chill? What you see behind me is where uh, business gets conducted. None of the employees are here right now because they're all at lunch, because that's kind of boss I am. Anyway, um, some of the drawers uh, back here are dedicated to puppy products, whether it's food, snacks, uh, leashes that they don't wear, collars that they don't wear, harnesses they don't wear, potty pads they don't use. So yeah, whatever you need that, you know, got surplus, hit me up online, I'll hook you up. All right, everybody, it is now time for Tricks for Charity. Today we'll be donating to Live Love Animal Rescue here in the beautiful city of Long Beach. Now let's see if we can do some tricks and uh, win them some money. So, uh, Risa, don't let me down. Here we go. Risa, don't move. Good girl. All right, Risa, rest. Good girl. I think they're gonna make some money today. All right, Risa, last one. Chill. Good girl. All right. Thanks for watching the Pet Collective. Now get out of my house. We got things to do. Let's go, Vinny. Let's go. Let's do it, people. Let's do it.